Member for Surrey White Rock. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, the struggle is real. And uh, I rise today to tackle a subject that quite literally keeps us up all night and makes us wonder why we are so tired in the morning. Now, I know that this House has passed legislation uh, years ago in terms of daylight savings time. But I can tell you this, Mr. Speaker, uh, in talking to my wife this morning, I woke up uh, fine. My nine-year-old did not. And uh, I know that that is a struggle that many parents, many families are facing uh, as, we, as we skip forward. Um, but in all seriousness, this is, a, this is a serious subject. And I know it's one that we've canvassed in this house extens extensively. Um, we've all been part of that yearly ritual. The clocks go spring forward, and with them, so do our spirits. Our spirits that quickly pummel it when we are realize our children's sleep schedules are about to adjust as convincing my daughter that broccoli is a treat. Parents across British Columbia face the daunting challenge of recalibrating their families to a time change that frankly belongs in history books, not on our watches. Uh, promises were made, surveys were conducted, and of the people's, we clear, uh, the people's will was clear, yet here we are, still caught in a cycle of predictable as a changing of the seasons. Now, my fellow brothers that border the Alberta uh, border have, they're in, a, they're in a much better circumstance than we are now. Uh, and it begs the question, are we truly maximizing daylight or are we simply losing time in a different sense? Time that could be spent uh, on meaningful change. Let's face it, despite commitments, those who once promised that this change to appear appear to be stuck in perpetual fallback mode on the issue. No pun intended, but we all need to wake up to this issue. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.